been stranded in an island uh, within the uh, the river. Uh, the river was high because of the uh, the intense rains we had last night. To go back a little bit, our um, homeless services detail had been in the area for the past week, talking to individuals who were living in the riverbed, warning them of the incoming rain and the danger that presented. Uh, many of them took heed and left that area. Uh, this is tremendously dangerous for people who stay in that environment during these heavy rains. So we had made the notifications. We felt good, but we were continuing to check on the area. Fire department under the Swift Water uh, Rescue Protocol were dispatched. They, however, could not get to these two women who were stranded. And Air 5, which you see behind me, and our emergency services detail uh, uh, deputies were in the area looking for people who were having problems due to the rains, and they heard the call come out. Now, this rescue was done in a very difficult environment. You have a lot of homeless people living in this area, and thereby a lot of tarps and things that would fly up when the uh, rotor came out, uh, over the top of them. And so the, uh, the risk was operating between sets of power lines, being able to get down and not having the tarps sucked up into the rotor, and yet able to deploy a deputy down to make the rescue of these two women. They were able to accomplish that. They rescued the two women only to realize that there were an additional 10 dogs down below, four adult dogs and six puppies. They went back, the women had gone back to try and rescue the dogs. Uh, so our deputies then were able to rescue all but one dog and were able to get everybody up into, the, uh, into Air 5. They then went and redeployed back down to come up and be able to rescue the final puppy and were able to, to accomplish that task. So my hat goes out my, uh, to the folks behind me who were able to do something uh, that many people would have said, you know what, it, that can't be done. Uh, the danger was just too much and they do this kind of thing every day and I'm so proud to be able to work with them and in this case uh, everything worked out. But I can't say enough about the danger of people who are living uh, along the riverbed when these rains come along. Tremendously dangerous uh, and we will continue to work but we need everybody's help in addition to make these notifications and clear people out from areas that we know uh, are going to be harmful to them. They got there, uh, they live there, and um, I'm not sure, they got there between rains to get back out to get the dogs, and then the rains came down, the water comes off the mountain and down through the, uh, the riverbeds, and they were then stuck on the island. How frustrating is it, I gotta ask them about yeah. this too, but how frustrating is it that you have to just, every time it rains, it seems like ground covering must be, be yeah. It, you know, it's frustrating, you know, that uh, people put themselves and others in harm's way because they choose to not follow uh, the directions they're given. We give these directions in, a, in an effort to be able to protect lives. Uh, when people go against that and put themselves in a situation where they have to be rescued, certainly it puts all of our folks behind me and others in danger uh, to make that, uh, that rescue. So today we were lucky it worked out as well as it could have, but I can't say enough about the pilots, their ability to be able to navigate between the power lines and be able to avoid the debris on the ground from coming up into the, uh, the rotor and the ability then for emergency services deputies to be able to lower themselves down, be able to effect the rescue, get out and evacuate from the area and everybody worked out uh, safe in this case. Yeah, a couple have already been adopted and we have some here. Uh, the anim animal uh, control, Southeast Animal Control will have the remaining uh, puppies up for adoption and if you've seen the puppies uh, I think they'll be adopted very quickly. You know it feels very good I'm very very proud of the work they do uh, they train and they they deploy almost daily on rescues up in our mountain range in the Santa Monica Mountains, San Gabriel Mountains they, they make rescues of cars that go off the side of uh, the road down into the uh, to the ravine they, they do rescues that most people, hikers who get injured and fall down, uh, rescues that, you know, in, in other jurisdictions, it just wouldn't be possible. Uh, they do this on a daily basis. So I'm very, very proud of them, true heroes. It's, uh, it's unusual only, uh, you know, that the puppies were involved in this one. And, and I think it uh, one of these situations where um, we had the ability to be able to, to make the rescue. Others on the ground uh, weren't able to get to these two individuals. And had the rescue not been made, the outcome might be completely different. Thank you all very much.